What's up guys? It's week 12 of the NFL season and I went 14 and 1 last week. Holla at your boy. How you doing? Yeah, that's right. I went 14 and 1. 14 and sorry, 14 and 1. Yes. Get him. Did you did you guys go 14 and 1? Oh, 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 you didn't. You didn't go 14 to 1 because I went 14 to 1. Jason Biondo went 14 and 1. The one game, the only game that I missed was the Steelers and the Broncos. Steelers, come on. What are you doing? Let's, let's rewind and see what I said about the Steelers last week. Steelers, you're going to win. Don't make me look bad. Steelers win. Let's see what Matt Ness said. Yeah, you made me look bad. Thanks. I sh you know what? No. Uh, Steelers, you're not getting away with this. I almost went 15 and 0 last week. N literally, the game was tied. I could have been 15 and 0. Not even the people from the pick and pulls were 15 and 0 last week. I could have been the leader. Uh, I could have been the overall, overall leader of everyone. But no, you're not getting away with this. That's it. The Steelers are in timeout this week. That's it. You're on the floor. That's it. There are no Steelers this week. I mean, I have to talk about the teams, but like, they're off the wall. That's it. Steelers, you're in timeout. But I went 14 to 1. Yes, that's right. Let's get started. Welcome to this week's episode of Man vs. Madden. I'm your host, Jason Biondo. I went 14 to 1. What did you go? You didn't go 14 to 1? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I feel so good about that. God, I feel so accomplished. Who like, who says bad things about me that like, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about, all this stuff. I went 14 to 1. Yeah. What you got to say now? I'll probably make a mistake later on in the, in the episode and then you're going to rip me in the comments anyway. But I went 14 to 1. What up? Damn, Steelers, man. Whatever. I'm, I'm hyped right now. I'm so hyped to be here. It was a great week. Uh, some really great games happened, but we'll get to that later. Of course, make sure to subscribe and put on your notifications because we post videos every single day. Every day is a new video. So why wouldn't you subscribe to our channel? Literally new videos every day. If you like sports and you like watching sports on video, subscribe because every day is a new one. Yeah. Subscribe. Let's go to the standings, because I'm excited about this one. The key matchups, Madden and the fans went three and one. So that leaves Madden at 26 and 26 and the fans at 27 and five. And I went four and zero. Oh. Four and zero oh on the key matchups. You know why? Because I went 14 and one. That's right, 14 and one. How's that wall space doing? Oh no, it's still gone. <laughs> Oh, Steelers are still gone. Thanks, Steelers. So that leaves me at 32 and 20. For the standings last week, Madden went 10 and 5, and the fans also went 10 and 5. And I, as you already may have heard, went 14 and 1. 14 and 1. The Steelers should have won. Why did the Steelers not win? Steelers. I got a 115 to know. That like never happens. That's crazy. Oh god. So overall, Madden is 93 and 84. I am 116 and 60, and the fans are 110 and 66. Not bad. Uh, I have now kind of jumped over the fans a little bit. Sorry guys, but uh, hey, that's just what happens when you're amazing like me. <laughs> uh, this is never gonna happen again. I'm never gonna go 14 and one again, or at least close to that. But hey. I'm basking in the glory while I can, and you all hate me. But you know what? Whatever. <laughs> now for the pick'em pool, the CBS pool. We have a four-way tie for last week's leader. We have Liam Wagaman, Ross Sutton, and Santiago Trege, and Jason Biondo. We all went 14 and one. <laughs> It feels great to be on top. And then for the overall leaders for the CBS pools, we have a tie between Ben Taylor and Dylan Davis. They are both at 119 points. Get them, guys. Get them. You're killing it. And now for the Yahoo pools, we have a tie for the leaders of last week. We have Fly Eagles Fly and Kobe Castle. Both went 13 and 2. Good for you guys. You're killing it. And then the overall for the Yahoo pools is JJ. What up, JJ? You chilling, kid. I know you chilling. Good for you, man. He's at 115 points. Not bad. That's good. Um, I went 14 to 1. I don't know if you knew that. I'm hyped. Let's get started with this week's matchups. Our first key matchup and first matchup of the week, Thursday, 8.20 p.m. on Fox, we have the Saints at the Cowboys. The Saints beat the Falcons last week 31-17, and the Cowboys beat the Redskins 31-23. Saints have won 10 straight and have no signs of slowing down. We even might see our first playoff clinch of the 2018 season. If the Saints win and the Panthers lose this Sunday, the Saints will be the champs of the NFC South. 
It's going to be interesting to see how this shakes out. But with the Saints dominating the NFL, if they don't clinch this week, it'll certainly happen sooner rather than later. The Cowboys are on a late season run, entering their last few weeks of the season in first place. And I think they'll finish this season first and make the playoffs, but they're not beating the Saints this week. It's not happening. Yeah, the Saints are gonna win. Let's see what Matt has to say. We got a complete blowout here. 30 to 13, New Orleans leads. We got a minute and one left. First and goal. He drops back, looks. Prescott throws it for a touchdown. There you go, dive. Even after you were in, dive for that, man. Fantastic, good job. Good job, simulation. You're a professional. All right, 55 seconds left. First and 10, the Saints have the ball. And Drew Brees hands it off, and it is good for a first down. Oh, he like he just like tab danced into the first down there. Good for you. Oh, you upset, man. Are they dancing in the background together? Hold on. Were they dancing? Oh, no, what are they doing? They're like clapping in the background. They're like dancing. All right, eight seconds left. The Saints are going for a field goal here. Not that it matters, they're gonna win anyway. Snap is up, it is up, it is long, it is far, and it is... It's good, it's good. An extra three points, who cares? Do the fist bump, fist bump, yeah. All right, that's it. The Saints take this one, 33 to 20. Up next Sunday, 1 p.m. on Fox, we have the Bears at the Giants. The Bears beat the Lions 23-16, and the Giants lost to the Eagles 25 to 22. Both of these teams have very different agendas. The Giants are just playing for pride at this point, and maybe a really good draft pick, which I'm all about. Like, if you're out there and there's no way you're making the playoffs, lose some games, you could have a better draft pick. I'm, I'm just saying. The Bears are the hot hand this week, coming off a huge win against the Vikings. Uh, the goal for this week is to further their standings. And the Bears will be playing the 3-8 and eight Giants. And the second place Vikings will be playing the 8-3 and three Patriots. I'm gonna expect the Bears add another win between them and the Vikings. So the Bears win. Let's see what Madden has to say. Pretty close game here, 23 to 17, a minute 37 left, third and one, and the Giants have the ball. Manning hands it off, and they got the first down on the 36 yard line. There's a timeout. 11 seconds left, they're gonna kneel it here. This is it, and that is it, the game is over. The Giants take this one, 23 to 17. Nah, probably not, but um, hey. At least they won in the simulation. Up next, Sunday, 1 p.m. on Fox, we have the Cardinals at the Packers. The Cardinals lost to the Chargers, 45 to 10. And the Packers lost to the Vikings, 24-17. It's not really like, I don't really have to say much here. The Cardinals are the Cardinals. The Packers, I mean, they're really not doing that well. For some reason, I feel like the Cardinals actually could win here just because the Packers have been losing a lot. But I'm, I'm still gonna go with the Packers just because if they lose to the Cardinals, that would be that would be pretty bad. But yeah, they're, they're gonna win. The Packers are gonna win. How can you lose to the Cardinals? Aaron Rodgers don't lose to the Cardinals. You're Aaron Rodgers. I know you. You're, I know your team isn't doing its best right now. I know you're probably not going to make the playoffs. Win the game. Packers win. Let's see what Madden has to say. The Packers are winning 27-19 with 45 seconds left. Second and goal. The Cardinals have the ball. He drops back. Looks. He throws it. Oh, was he in? He was in. He was in. Oh my God. Touchdown Cardinals. Yeah, that fist bump. You deserve that one, guy. We got a close game here, kid. They're going for two here. That's right, 42 seconds left. Let's see it. Come on, you got it. Come on, Rosen. Oh, did he get it? He got it. No way. Oh my God. Yeah, do a little dancey dance. You deserve it. You just tied up the game. And guess what? We're going into overtime. Overtime, 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 overtime. Tie game, 6.09 left. The snap is up, he drops back. He throws it far. Oh, it's good for the first, it ends up. He's got, he's got the touchdown. Oh, they just they just cracked him towards the end zone. It's not the right word. They like came both, they both came in at the same time. That's what I meant. That was some good defense on the Packers, but wow, did he wave to him? He like waved like, hey, how are you? I'm about to score. Not that time. All right, 529 left. This is it. The Cardinals need the touchdown. Let's see it. He hands it off. Oh, he's in for the touchdown, and that is it. That's it. The game's over. The Cardinals take this one against the Packers. I would be upset, too. The Cardinals win this one 33-27. to Sunday, 1 p.m. on CBS, we have the Colts at the Jaguars. The Colts beat the Dolphins 27-24, to and the Jaguars lost to the Bills 24-21. to The Colts will come into Jacksonville winning five straight. The AFC South is starting to heat up, with the Colts, Texans, and Titans all still in contention. It's really anyone's division at this point. Earlier this week, it was announced that Blake Bortles would 
be benched and backup QB Cody Kessler would become the Jags QB number one. It's been a monumental fall from grace for Blake Bortles and the Jacksonville Jaguars compared to their stellar 2017 season. Like, what happened? The Jaguars will not be successful this week. We all know it. Especially with Leonard Fournette suspended for the game over last week's fight and ejection. The Colts will continue to dominate with Andrew Luck and their late season resurgence. So the Colts are going to win. Let's see what Matt has to say. All right, tie game. A minute 13 left, and the Jaguars are going for a field goal. Smart choice here. Let's see how this goes. The kick is up. It's far. It's long. And it is. Oh, it's off the post. It's off the post. Oh, yeah, he's stumbling because he's so just thrown off because he sucks. Wow. All right, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. This is exciting. Six seconds left, and the Colts are going for a field goal. They want the win. It's up. Oh, it's blocked. It's blocked. Oh, it's, it's recovered by the Jaguars. Oh, my God. That's overtime. They're going overtime. Wow, Madden. I didn't expect this from you. Cool. That's awesome. This is really cool. Cool, 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 cool. 208 left, fourth and three. They're kicking a field goal. It's up, it's long. The Jaguars have taken this game against the Colts. Yeah, that's the negative fist bump right there. Oh man, fist bump. Sorry, it could have been worse, Colts. Actually, no, it's pretty bad. Uh, it's just a simulation. They're still probably gonna win in real life. Don't be sad. 1 p.m. on CBS, we have the Browns at the Texans. The Browns beat the Bengals 35 to 20. Go Browns. And the Texans beat the Titans 34 to 17. Now the Browns are feeling great about their team's first win streak in more than four years. Four years. Solid wins over the Falcons and the Bengals. It's a great start. But week 13 brings a whole different animal. The Houston Texans are the hottest team in the AFC. Since starting the season 0-3, the Texans have been on a tear. Monday night's 34-17 win over AFC South rival Titans was Houston's eighth win in a row. Facing Deshaun Watson, DeAndre Hopkins, and Lamar Miller are big challenges for the Browns' defense. On the other side of the ball, protecting Baker Mayfield from J.J. Watt and Jadavian Clowney, and it's a big step up from the last two opponents. Stopping the high-flying Texans win streak would be a great step in the right direction for an up-and-coming Browns. Although I do like Baker, and everyone says that I look like him, so obviously I like him even more. Uh, I unfortunately can't go with them. Can't go with the Browns. The Texans are going to win. It's gonna happen. Sorry, Browns. Texans win. Let's see what Madden has to say. 31-27, Houston has the lead. A minute, six left, third and 10. Mayfield drops back, looks around. Oh, and he is taken down. He is sacked. That's what we like to call a sack lunch. He is taken down by Kareem Jackson. All right, a minute and one left. Come on, Baker. Snap is up, drops back. He's running, he's, oh, he throws it long, far, and it is almost intercepted, but incomplete. 10 seconds left, Houston's going for a field goal, put a little bit of icing on that cake, come on. There you go, that's it, they got it. The Houston Texans take this game 34 to 27. Well, that's just exciting for the Texans, I'm happy for them, they're doing well. You know. 1 p.m. on Fox, we have the Panthers at the Buccaneers. The Panthers lost to the Seahawks 30 to 27, and the Buccaneers beat the 49ers 27 to nine. The Panthers really can't catch a break. They've now lost three straight, and the playoffs are starting to become a dream that just is not gonna come true for Carolina. They still have to play the Saints twice. The Panthers are still in trouble, but they'll come up with the W against the Bucks. The Panthers will complete the season sweep of the Bucks, so they're gonna win this one. Let's see what Madden has to say. Oh, it's a complete blowout. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have 34 points. The Panthers have 10 points. 14 seconds left. Bucks snap it, hand it off. He's down, no gain. That's it, game's over. The Bucks take this one 34 to 10. 1 p.m. on CBS, we have the Bills of the Dolphins. The Bills beat the Jags 24 to 21 and the Dolphins lost to the Colts 27 to 24. The Bills are four and seven and the Dolphins are five and six. Ryan Tannehill is back to help the 28th ranked offense in the NFL. The unpredictable Bills will come into Miami with the second best defense according to the yards given up, which just shows how bad their offense has been. Both teams are really just being their classic selves this season. Um, the Dolphins are coming off a tough loss to the Colts and the Bills will try to make it two in a row. If the Bills can get their offense to do a little damage, we can have a ball game. It could happen, but I have to go with my gut in this one and go with the Dolphins. Tannehill Hill should be able to bring Miami what they've 
desperately needed. Don't let me down, Dan Hill. Dolphins win. Let's see what Madden has to say. Josh Allen's back to play. We're all happy about it, but he's apparently not playing well in the simulation because it is 16 to 6 with a minute and 33 left. Third and second. Come on, Josh Allen. Let's do it. He snaps it, drops back, looks around, throws it deep, and it's completed. Wow, on the 14 yard line. They're simming up quick. They are simming up. They want this. Come on, bro. There you go. Snaps it, drops back, looks around, and he throws it. It is, oh, it's complete. He's going. He's, he's got the first, and he's down on the three-yard line. A minute six left. The, the clock is running right now. As Mike used to say, dick, 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 dick. Sound like I was saying dick. <laughs> Oh, they got a flag. Oh, is that offsides? 49 seconds left, drops back, throws it. Oh, it's completed. He jukes backwards and they're gonna sim up quick again. Let's see where this goes. Drops back, looks around, throws it. Taken right down. The Dolphins defense is apparently fantastic today. Drops back, throws it and it is, <laughs> it's intercepted. Honestly, with the Bills, yeah, and he's still running. He's running. Is he going to get a touchdown? Is he going to get a touchdown on that interception? Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't have words. He's doing a dancey dance. Bills. 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 What are you doing? It was a 102-yard touchdown. 102, Bills. That's what Madden thinks of your simulation. They think that someone can get an interception and do a 102-yard touchdown on you. That's what they think about you. They think the Dolphins can do that to you. Bills. Dolphins win 23 to six. I'm over it. Up next, 1 p.m. on CBS, we have the Broncos at the Bengals. The Broncos beat the Steelers 24 to 17, unfortunately. And the Bengals lost to the Browns 35 to 20. The Bengals QB suffered a season ending thumb injury last Sunday, and now the Bengals season has gone from bad to even worse. Before November, the Bengals were five and three and looked to be in a great spot for playoff contention. Now, they lost three straight, and their starting QB is out for the season. You better believe the Broncos defense is salivating at the chance to get a backup starter Jeff Driscoll. Unless we're seeing the making of the next Tom Brady, uh, I don't think the Bengals are gonna win. Probably not. So the Broncos win. Let's see what Madden has to say. 24 to 10 Broncos, a minute and one left, fourth and one, and they are going for the field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. That's right, they made that. That's how you do it in front of, if you're from the Broncos. You gonna get those field goals. Mm-hmm. I don't like that accent. All right, 30 seconds left, fourth and nine on the 26 yard line. This is it for the Bengals, even though they're totally not gonna come back and win. It's, it's pretty much impossible, but he snaps it and he drops back. He's looking around, he throws it and it is, that was like the worst throw I've ever seen in, in a Madden simulation ever. Ever. Wow, that just makes me really want to just end the game. So uh, I'm totally just gonna end the game. 27 to 10, the Denver Broncos take this one. Hey, who knows? 1 p.m. on CBS, we have the Ravens at the Falcons. The Ravens beat the Raiders 34 to 17. The Falcons lost to the Saints 31 to 17. The Ravens are coming into this game in second in the AFC North and I'm kind of nervous. They decided to turn it on a little too late. They find themselves with a quarterback controversy as well. With Flacco missing two weeks with his hip injury, it allowed rookie QB Lamar Jackson to come in and pick up his first two wins as a starter. Lamar is already being called a young Mike Vick. Yo, this guy is no joke. It's gonna be interesting to see what call John Harbaugh makes after Flacco sees the hip specialist this Monday. I'm gonna expect a low scoring game with Lamar Jackson continuing to prove he was worthy of being a first rounder. It kinda seems like the Ravens have found Joe Flacco's successor. The Ravens win. Let's see what Matt has to say. 31-28 Ravens, minute 43 left, drops back, throws it, and it is good for the touchdown. There you go. That was a positive fist bump. 35-31 Falcons. 51 seconds left, snaps it, drops back, throws it deep, it's far, and it's incomplete. Oh, so sad. Good for the Falcons, not good for the Ravens. All right, 37 seconds left, they are gonna kneel this out here, that's it, the game is over. The Falcons take this one, 35 
to 31. 1 p.m. on Fox, we have the Rams and the Lions. The Lions lost to the Bears last week, 23 to 16, and the Rams are 10 and 1. I wonder who's going to win. The Rams returned from their bye week after the slugfest with the Chiefs in week 11. The Rams will enter their final stretch of the season pretty healthy and tied for the best record in the NFL at 10 and 1. Oh my god, the Lions are so bad. The Lions are so bad. Just this week, Jeopardy threw shade on them mocking the fact that they've never won a Super Bowl and may not for another decade. Yeah, not the best look. The Lions have home field advantage, but not even that can save them from the beatdown they're about to get from the Rams. The Rams win, clearly. Let's see what Madden has to say. Complete blowout, 37 to 12, 10 seconds left, third and nine. The Lions have the ball, he drops back, throws it, and he is good for the first. One. That's it, the time is now out, the game is over. The Rams destroy the Lions 37 to 12. Up next, 4.05 p.m. on CBS, we have the Chiefs at the Raiders. The Raiders lost to the Ravens 34 to 17. I really don't have to talk about this one. You know who's gonna win, the Chiefs are gonna win. The Raiders, ugh, let's see what Matt has to say. Tie game, 13-13, with a minute 24 left. The Chiefs are going to kick a field goal. And how is this game tied? <laughs> it's up, oh, it's blocked! No, it's blocked and it's recovered by the Raiders. No, no! Madden, I'm so over this. Come on, Madden. 13 seconds left and the Raiders are about to kick a field goal. I swear to God, if the Raiders win right now, it's up, it's far, it's long, and it is, of course, good. John Gruden, yeah, okay. The Raiders take this one 16 to 13. Up next, 4.05 p.m. on CBS, we have the Jets at the Titans. The Jets lost to the Patriots 27 to 13, and the Titans lost to the Texans 34 to 17. This one, I don't know why, I feel like this one's gonna be a hard one to decide. I know the Jets are doing awful right now, but I feel like they can actually pull through. Um, yeah, no, I, I, Nah, nah, nah. The Titans are gonna win. Sorry, Jets. Let's see what Matt has to say. Complete blowout. Tennessee has the lead 30 to 6. 21 seconds left. Titans had the ball, drops back, hands it off. He is taken down at the 20 yard line. But that doesn't matter because the game is now over and the Titans take this one 30 to 6. Uh, I don't see it being that big of a blowout, but I do see them winning. So Madden and I. Have that in common. Our next key matchup, 4.25 p.m. on Fox, we have the Vikings at the Patriots. The Vikings beat the Packers 24 to 17. The Patriots beat the Jets 27 13. All right, so the Patriots are about to have one of their toughest hurdles with the 6 4 and 1 Vikings. Luckily, this game will be played at home as the Patriots begin their quest to lock up their number one seed, which realistically probably won't happen. At this point in the season, the AFC East is just non existent. <laughs> The next task is what seed they'll have coming into the playoffs. I, I definitely think the Patriots are going to take this one at home, and the Vikings will find themselves in a big hole when Week 14 rolls around and they face off against the Seahawks, and the Seahawks are going to be at home. Yeah, so the Patriots win. So let's see what Madden has to say, bro. A minute 49 left, complete blowout as well. 30 to 13, New England leads, drops back. Cousins runs around, and Cousins is sacked on the 48-yard line. That is it. The game is over. New England takes this one 30 to 13. Yeah, no, that 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 seemed pretty pretty yeah, realistic. 425 p.m. on Fox. We had the 49ers at the Seahawks. The 49ers lost to the Bucks 27 to 9. And the Seahawks beat the Panthers 30 to 27. Okay, so um I wonder who's gonna win. The Seahawks are clearly gonna win. The 49ers. I don't know what to tell you. Next season, wait for Jimmy G to get back. He'll be fine next year. Then you can actually like have some hope. The Seahawks win. Madden, do your thing. 45-34 Seattle, a minute and four left, fourth and eight on the 27-yard line. Nick Mullins drops back. He runs around and he throws it deep. He wants this win right now, and that is incomplete. Oh, that's so sad. That's it, the game is over. The Seahawks win 45 to 34. Our next key matchup, 8.20 p.m. on NBC. We have the Chargers at the Steelers. Whatever. The Chargers beat the Cardinals last week 45 to 10. And the Steelers lost the Broncos last week. Doesn't even matter. 
I went 14 to 1. I went 14 to 1. Now, this should be one of the best games of the week. Philip Rivers is on fire. Melvin Gordon is out. James Conner is starting to wear down, and both teams are fighting for playoff spots. This game is going to be a shootout. I really have no idea who's going to get this one. With both running backs hurt or ineffective, I have to go with Philip Rivers and the Chargers. Also, why would I go with the Steelers? Uh, the Chargers just destroyed the Cardinals last week, while the Steelers had the sloppiest loss of the season. The moment is in the Chargers' favor, and the Steelers will lose. The Steelers will lose. Steelers will lose. Madden, do your thing. I went 14 to 1. 34 to 16. The Steelers have the lead. 22 seconds left. They're going for a field goal. The snap is up. Kick is out. That was such a short kick. Sorry, they did not get that field goal at all. But it's all right, because they're still going to win this game. Five seconds left. This is it for the Chargers. Rivers drops back, throws it long, and it is intercepted. That's it. The game is done. The Steelers win this one in Madden 34 to 16. Whatever. Our final key matchup and final matchup of the week. 8.15 p.m. on ESPN, we have the Redskins at the Eagles. The Redskins lost to the Cowboys 31 to 23, and the Eagles beat the Giants 25 to 22. Now, surprisingly enough, the Eagles are heavy favorites to win this game. They definitely have the edge of quarterback. Cole McCoy is certainly no Carson Wentz. With Alex Smith, the Redskins were the better team, and now this game, is it's just, it's a, t it's a toss up. I don't know. I really feel terrible for the Skins. They were having a great season and now they might lose the division that seemed to be locked up. I have to go with the Eagles and their home field advantage. So they win. Madden. Commence. 34-13 with 53 seconds left. The Redskins have the ball. Snaps it. Drops back. Looks. Runs around. Oh, he's sacked. He is sacked at the 24-yard line. They're simming up quick. They're simming up. Eh, kind of quick. All right, whatever. 35 seconds, drops back, looks around, throws it, and it is way, way out of bounds. Oh, they're getting pissed at each other. What's up? What's up, bro? What's up? How you doing? What, you, you, you running into me? I'll mess you up. <laughs> 30 seconds left. They're going for a field goal here. It's up, and it is good. That's right. They made it. Nice job, Redskins. Nice job. You're still going to lose, but it's fine. 23 seconds left. Eagles had the ball. And that's it. They take the knee. The game is over. The Eagles take this one 34 to 16. That's it for this week's episode of Man vs. Madden. I had an amazing time. Vote in the key matchups right up there. Do it. Go vote in the key matchups. Follow myself and Total Pro Sports on social media. We post great content all the time. If you like this video, like it. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out. Really, do it. Go do it right now. Like it. And also, if this is your first time around TPS, make sure to subscribe because we post videos every single day. Every day is a new video. Go subscribe. Before I say goodbye. Oh, God. All right. Sorry, Steelers fans. I know you hate me. I'm just mad at you guys. 14 and 1. I went 14 and 1 last week. That's it. I'm Jason Biondo. Thanks for watching. My knee!